Hello, Pack, and how are you guys doing on this lovely night? I am here again with another game that I just got called The Red Lantern. It's a sled dog. Oh, hang on, let me turn down the. I can't hear myself, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. So, it's a game called The Red Lantern, and it's a sled dog survival game. I've seen seen played by. Where's my mouse? Okay, that was weird. It's very slow for some odd reason. moments that just stick out in your mind uh-huh those ones that just stay with you forever when I was a kid I was told you are what you do this thing is very touchy so choose wisely and I tried to choose doctor there we go And still hear him. You know, this this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. Yeah, I got that. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets. And chewer of literally everything. It is so touchy, sorry guys. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had to be pretty lost. And I'm mm -hmm. sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. Hmm. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. He's a bad boy. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there'd be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. Hmm. What do you think? And you can't carry the sledding gear on your own, even if you think you can. <laughs> so touchy. It is so touchy. Let me see if I can get my mouse to go a little bit better. There goes my speaker. Finn! Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes it led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. Yeah. It's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. Okay, Finn. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Yes! Okay, so Finn 
is gonna help us a little bit. You can only pick a certain amount of dogs. Chopper, I would like to introduce you to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my <laughs> shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. Yeah. We'll probably have to make some decisions we don't want to, but that's how we find out what we truly are. Are you mm. a pup that can smell porcupines and keep your nose out of trouble? I hope so. <laughs> I'd be happy to avoid whatever trouble I can. Unless well, you can't. You ready? Jumper, do you approve? Oh. We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Finn's so cute. Do you mind if I give you a pet? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious no. Eventually. Hopefully Finn will get to us. Hey, Chomper. You have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. She's growling at It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. I think we have three more options, because they said four. Iggy! Hey, Glue. Where are you, girl? <gasps> oh, she's so precious. You know you have a house right there. We don't have to be in the snow. Mm -mm. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? <laughs> At least we know why she's called Igloo. <laughs> oh, a big old snowball. Big, fluffy, loud. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. I've got a new life to start. <sighs> There'll be a venture for us all. Should be, right? You only get nervous when you're doing something new. Let's awaken those nerves. <laughs> Waken them. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. All right, I'm moving my keyboard a little bit. Noodle, huh? <laughs> Noodle! You said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who'd listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. You still like to run, right? I promise we'll still get plenty of rest. <laughs> you look ready for snugs. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Ready to go meet the rest of the new team? Why not? He's so cute. He looks a little bit like Chomper. Not yet. Not Chomper. Well, uh, welcome to the van. The 
this is Chomper. Yeah, Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. You ready to help us train? It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. So you decided which way to go if your driver didn't? And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. I'm more than willing to defer to you if your instincts are sharp. I trust that you're a smart pup noodle, and I need help with more than running. But you can't just lay <laughs> down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. So cute. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. This is so cute. This is going so well. well. We've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. The thing is, I, I need to start thinking about more about Gale. Yeah. You look like a force to be reckoned with. 